Hi. Welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. Plugins are magic. They extend the capability of any editing system, whether it's Final Cut 10 or Final Cut 7 or Premiere. The whole idea is to use plugins to do what the software itself doesn't. And it's in the plugins that we can add an element of magic that's, well, it's not only fun to play with, but sometimes leaves your jaw on the floor. Wait till you see what we've got to talk about today. Third-party plugins are those delightful pieces of software that you can add to Final Cut Pro 10 or any editing software to make it do more than Final Cut Pro 10 can do by itself. Some plugins are free and others have a fee, and we'll show you both today. All plugins are designed to make your life easier, more interesting, and a whole lot more fun. I want to showcase plugins from companies that you may not have heard about before. We'll take a look at title plugins, transition plugins, audio plugins, problem solving plugins, styling plugins, even color looks plugins. My goal is not to train you in how these work. It's much more to show you the wealth of what's out there, provide you a website, and allow you to go do some research on your own. We're going to be talking about products from Alex 4D, Boris FX, Cormelt, FX Factory, Motion VFX, Natris, Neat Video, Red Giant, Ripple Training, Stupid Raisins, and Zenaptic. And I tell you, this one approaches magic. It's made by a company called Zenaptic at zenaptic.com. It was suggested to me by one of my readers last week when I put a, a note in my newsletter saying, give me some plugins that you really think are cool. I've never heard of the company before. And the main reason is Zenaptic only has four products and they're all audio filters and they're designed for audio applications like Pro Tools and Adobe Audition. Zenaptic makes audio filters for a wide variety of applications, which now includes Final Cut Pro 10. This filter removes echo and reverb from a speaker's voice and, frankly, approaches magic. It's called Unveil. Let's pull our audio level up just a bit, hit the home key, and spacebar. This is microphone one. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent recorded on different days using different mics to sound the same. This would be a, an effect where you've got a talent on a lavalier mic in a very live room, something that's got a lot of metal or a lot of hard surfaces to it, and the lavalier is picking up not only the talent's voice, but picking up a lot of bounce. In the past, we were stuck with that. The only way we could get rid of the echoes is to re-record, but not anymore. If I select this clip and go to the Effects Browser, go down to the Audio Effects category, down here, see it says Audio. I'm going to go all the way down to Zenaptic and click on it. They have two versions of Unveil. One is Unveil for a single track, and one is Unveil for the 8-channel. I'm going to just work with Unveil and drag it on top. Select the clip, go to Unveil. The default preset attempts to take some of the echo out, but we have both de-reverb um, for voice and for music. We can also keep the reverb and lose the voice. Let's say that you want to have something be even more echoey and you don't want the voice to be present. The process is called focusing. If a voice is really echoey and we remove the echo, it seems to focus or bring that voice forward. Let's just do a gentle de-reverberation. See if you can listen to it here and hear the difference. This is microphone one. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent. Okay, well, it's a little better. Let's click the filter button and we'll watch the actual unveil filter here and play it again. This is microphone one. One of our key audio challenges. Well, it's better, but it's not a lot better. Let's go and select this time we're going to select post ambience right here, uh, de reverberation. And now see if we can hear a difference. This is microphone one. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent recorded on different days using different mics to sound the same. That reverb is almost entirely gone. We've pulled the, the voice forward. Now, how far forward is controlled by this focus slider? The more we push this up, the more front and center the voice gets. The more we pull this down, the more 
in the background, the voice gets. Think of having a bunch of people talking in a, in a restaurant. You want to have the noise there, but you don't want to have it interfere with the dialogue. You would defocus it, which moves it to the back. Let's try one more setting, and this one is post-focus. This is microphone one. One of our key audio challenges is getting... What we're doing is we're making all that background echo disappear. We can't add a lot of timber to the voice, so we can't add the frequencies that aren't there. We'd use an EQ filter to do that. What we're trying to do is to get rid of the echo. I've never seen anything like this before. This is amazing. And if you go to Zynaptic's website at zynaptic.com and watch the demos, some of the oral effects you can create with this unveil filter are just stunning. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar covering third-party plugins from Final Cut Pro 10. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 99. Thanks.